All right, hey, before we get started today, there's something very serious I want to talk about. There have been 400 people that subscribe to the channel. 400. I don't even know 400 people, but 400 of you have said, hey, I like what you're doing. You amused me. You made me laugh. I, you pissed me off. Was something convinced you emotionally to hit that subscribe button? And I just want to say a personal thank you. I still have notifications turned on. Whenever you guys subscribe, a little thing pops up on my phone and it says your name has subscribed to the channel. Thank you. For, uh, seriously, Jenny's at work. I just got off the phone with her. She's really grateful too, but why well, I've been up north too long. For you guys giving us your time, that's the, that's the one resource you can't ever get back is your time. So we want to thank you so much for spending with us. We hope we're providing some sort of value. I've got something today that I think will be even more valuable to you. So I'm, I'm excited to share it with you. But hey, thank you so much to all, each and every one of you of the 400. Enjoy the show. All right, check this out. This is that Moroccan pattern for the bookshelf. Man, it looks good. It's drying right now. So that's just MDF and then I got this stuff, this Fuse It. It's supposed to be for all surfaces. I used it on the nightstands. It worked really well on the nightstands. Like I couldn't even push the pieces of wood out. So I think once this dries, it'll be absolutely perfect. So I got those done and the other ones are still drying. It's just spray paint, just black spray paint, nothing fancy. I just, I don't have a CNC yet, so I had a local shop cut these out for me. That was like 50 bucks or something, so I just like worked that into the price of the, the thing. And I mean, 50 bucks, I mean, even if I had a CNC, I'd spend way more than one hour of labor getting the tool path set up and then cutting it wrong the first couple tries. So, at least for right now, it's well worth the money to outsource that just for an hour of machine time, so. So this week we delivered the bookshelf, the one you saw earlier, uh, and it went really well. They absolutely loved it. It looked super cute in their, in their corner. It matched all the decorations they already had. And we added up how long it took us to make that bookshelf, and it totaled eight hours. Only eight hours. I'm talking about welding the metal for the sides, finishing the wood, putting it all together. All right, so if you do the math on that and break it down, we charged $600 for that bookshelf. After cost of materials, we ended up making $400 and it took us eight hours to make, right? So let's say you come home every day after work and work on it for two hours. And you're only looking at four days out of the week. So out of your seven day week, only four days, you're coming home from work and spending two hours on it. That means you're making $400 every single week. If you do that every week for four weeks, you're making $1,600 in one month, just from working two hours a day after the kids go to bed or whatever for four days a week. That is incredible. That is why we love doing this. So you can buy that car you've been wanting, you can save up for that vacation you've been wanting to take for forever. Really, it's whatever you can, whatever you can think up that you've been wanting to do. So another thing that'll help you with your customers and trying to get sales and stuff is to pitch products and ideas that you don't have access to, but you need, you need to know you in order to get them. So for example, like my buddy wanted this really cool pattern in the, uh, in the bookshelf. And I pitched him a couple other ideas that I could do, but he was really set on that specific, I think his wife was really set on that style. So um, I was like, all right, I know a place in town that has a CNC, let me get a quote and see what they say. And so I worked that into the price of the project. So um, I don't even have a CNC, but I'm able to do CNC things because I made a friend at this other shop. And I just walked in one day and started talking. It's not like I knew him before. Um, and now, if he gets any like huge furniture, because he doesn't do a lot of furniture, so if he gets somebody wanting him to build some big furniture piece, then we'll do that and uh, continue to use him and grow the relationship. I might not even need to buy a CNC now if he keeps giving me great rates like he has. I don't even need to waste my time worrying about learning the CNC and tool paths and stuff like that if he can do it all. So yeah, don't be intimidated by projects that you don't know how to do because you can probably find somebody pretty quick that knows how to do that part of the project. I've got something for you today. Um, this is something I've been working on for a long, long time. We built all the furniture in our house. As soon as we got an apartment, after we got married, and I realized that furniture was way cheaper to build it yourself than it was to buy it from the store. And it was nine times out of 10, it was higher quality to build it 
than it was to buy it. The next logical step then is to maybe sell some of the things that you make to friends or family. For those of you that are out there that are looking at trying to start a woodworking business, you're not looking, no, okay, you're not looking to be the next Ethan Allen, you're not trying to, to, to shut down Ikea, okay, I understand, but if you just want, say you wanna buy a Festool Domino, or say you need to upgrade your planer, I want to help you be able to afford that without using any money out of your own pocket. You can sell some furniture, sell some plaques, sell some picture frames, and make yourself enough money to buy whatever tool you want. Or maybe, maybe you've got a little bit bigger of a dream. Maybe, maybe you want a new truck. I want to help you. I want you to make enough money with your woodworking business. This is for you. If, if that describes you, then what I've got for you today is, oh my gosh, get ready. So. We started our furniture business about eight, nine months ago. That's when we really decided to get serious. Okay, we're gonna start to sell stuff. We're gonna get on Facebook Marketplace. We're gonna get our name out there. We're gonna make flyers and business cards and just, we tried every, believe me, if there was a way to sell furniture in this little town of ours, we tried it. And what we wanna do for you is to save you that first nine months. That first nine months was a ton of learning, and it was good stuff, and there were good lessons, but I don't think you need to fail 100,000 times to, to learn those lessons. I think those lessons are easy enough that you can learn them without having to experience them. We wanna get you as fast as you can to making money instead of losing money for the first nine months until you figure your crap out. So, what we have is we have a program for you. The program is over 30 minutes long. It's broken into six different videos and we go step by step through all the things that we wish we had known or been told before we started our woodworking business. Have you heard enough to make a decision? Click the link below, it's in the description. You can go right to the checkout page. You can get it right now and start watching in less than three minutes. If you're looking to get ahead, if you're looking to beat some of the competition in your area, if you're looking to get everything finalized before the next craft fair in the winter or in the fall or start selling furniture in the spring or really whatever your goal is, we want you to be up to speed as fast as possible and you're gonna start making money quick. The program is called The Secrets to Starting a Furniture Business. Now I know that sounds cheesy and clickbaity, but it really is the best descriptor of what it is. It's all of the little like what ifs or how do I do this or what about this. It shows you that just with a little bit of time in the evenings you can make a really decent, I'm talking like over the past three months we've made about 10 grand in sales and that that's with me working 80 hours a week and Jenny working 50 hours a week. So I guarantee you there is time in your schedule. I don't care if you've got kids, yoga practice, you do church functions, I don't know what you've got going on, but I guarantee you, you're not as busy as we are. This is what's gonna give you the shortcut. This is gonna get you nine months ahead of the curve and just get you rolling. We're really excited for you to start this program. We think it's gonna be a great opportunity for you to start making money off of your hobby. And honestly, it's gonna give you the tips and tricks and set up a super solid structure for you to follow. We're gonna go over some really big points like branding, uh, making yourself a portfolio, and selling your work to somebody who's looking to buy it. Uh, we talk about a lot uh, in the course that there are people who will try to just knock your prices down, who are gonna wanna pay a Walmart or a Target price for way higher quality than what uh, large stores like that usually produce. Uh, we're gonna go over topics like that, simple things that nobody ever tells you. Uh, and hopefully you can avoid some of the mistakes we made. So the entire course is over a half an hour of just nonstop information and advice uh, that is exactly what new business owners need to hear. So you will be able to rewind and watch this stuff over and over and over. If there's a little section that you don't quite get, go back, watch it two, three times till it finally clicks. Uh, and, and it's just a really cool option that you have available to you. And we've got this price super low for you guys. Honestly, we just want you to get the information and be successful. We've got it under 50 bucks right now, uh, very affordable. And honestly, if you can't spend a little bit of money on yourself and your business, how do you expect people to drop the big bucks on what you do and what you produce? So I, I'm not kidding, we think this is extremely valuable. It has absolutely changed the way we run our business and changed the way we look at woodworking and furniture making. It used to just be a hobby and, and something to do to fill our house and now we've turned it into an extremely profitable business and we would love to share with you how we did that and this program is the perfect way, uh, the perfect avenue for us to do that for you guys. Have you heard enough to make a decision? Links below, there's more to read if you wanna hear more about it. Bruce, what can you tell us about the program? 
What can you say? Can you speak to its effectiveness? That was a pretty convincing argument. If that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. So as soon as we drop the second course, the first one's gonna go back up to its original price of $97. Uh, we, can't, we can't keep it that low uh, for too long, so get it now while it's out there and it is super affordable. And honestly, for all you penny pinchers and number adders and cost analyzers, the course will make you money. If you take one tip from this course and use it to close a sale that makes you let's say 50 bucks, it's already paid for the course and you've lost nothing. You've actually gained something because now you get to use that tip over and over again to close more $50 profits. Why are you still here? If you're still watching the video, you're the kind of person that I want to have this program. You're thinking about it, you're mulling it over, quit thinking, take action. Because while you're thinking about it, there's somebody else out there that's doing it. Do you really want them to sell to your customers or do you want to sell to your customers? Have you heard enough to make a decision? Links below.